dream with me tonight. Hi there. How are you today? Oh, Teddy. Yes, Grubby. Can you tell me that story about the fobs again? <laughs> okay, Grubby. Oh, boy. Well, I think Grubby wants to hear the story that begins with Newton Gimmick writing a book about the fobs. Yeah, and it ends with me becoming a relative. <laughs> well, it all started when Fuzz the Fob, who lives in Gimmick's house, asked Gimmick to tell him all about fobs. That's right. You see, Gimmick found Fuzz when he was just a baby. He had lost his family, and Gimmick took him home where he would be safe and warm. As Fuzz grew older, he started to have a lot of questions about fobs. But unfortunately, Gimmick didn't have all the answers. Oh, well, Fuzz, uh, I don't know. Oh, uh, well, could you help me find out? So Gimmick decided to write a book about fobs. And we were all excited when he finished the book. Oh, uh, say, Gimmick, are there lots of pictures in that book? Eh, uh, well, uh, no, Grubby, uh, not yet. Uh, Teddy, uh, would you do the honors and uh, read the first chapter of my book, All About Fobs? Why, thank you, Gimmick. <coughs> chapter one, <clears throat> Fob Characteristics. As we all know, Fobs are happy creatures that come in a rainbow of colors. Yup, that's true. They get their bright, happy colors by drinking the water from Rainbow Falls. Yup, that's right. Therefore, Fobs must live at Rainbow Falls to keep their colors. Yup, but hey, that's not right. Grubby's right, Gimmick. We've seen colorful Fobs all over Grundo. Uh, you have? Oh, well, uh, so have I, actually. Yeah, and what about me? I'm colorful, and I don't live near Rainbow Falls. That's true. Uh, well, um, uh... You did check your information for accuracy, didn't you, Gimmick? Uh, well, check? Accuracy? Um, I, I don't remember. Oh, Gimmick, don't you think if you write something down, that it ought to be correct? Well, of course. You're absolutely right. I was in such a hurry, I guess I didn't get enough facts. Well, you've got a good start, Gimmick. Is there anything we can do to help? Yeah, we were looking for something to do today. Well, uh, maybe what the book needs is a little research. Research? Is that good? <laughs> That's very good, Grubby. Oh. Research is a necessary part of anything you do. It's, it's when you gather up all the correct information that you need. And sometimes it can take a long time. Hmm. Grubby and I can help you do that, Gimmick. That's wonderful. And then maybe the first thing you can research is how the fobs keep their bright colors, even if they don't live near Rainbow Falls. Oh, boy. What are we waiting for? Come on, Teddy. Let's go researching. We said goodbye to Gimmick and Fuzz and set out for Rainbow Falls. On our way, we walked through the Boggly Woods. When we saw a group of bounders run really fast right past us. <laughs> Gee, Grubby, I wonder what that was all about. I don't know, Teddy. They sure seemed afraid of something. <laughs> Or someone. Oh, look! It's Wooly! Hi, Teddy! Hi, Grubby! Did you see some bounders run by? <laughs> Hi, Hi, Wooly! Wooly. <laughs> yes, we sure did. It was our old friend, the Wooly What's It. He told us that he'd chased away the bounders because he caught them playing marbles with three fob eggs. <gasps> Oh, that's terrible. Those bounders can sure be mean. It's a good thing the fob eggs have strong shells and didn't break. Yeah, but it's not nice to play marbles with them. 
we asked Wooly to show us where the eggs were. Here they are, Teddy! All safe and sound! There in a clearing were three little fob eggs. Look, Teddy. One's orange, one's purple, and one's blue. It was a good thing you came along when you did, Wooly. Yeah, Teddy! I guess I saved these little eggs from having big headaches. So where do you think the mom and dad fobs are that belong to these eggs? I don't know, but maybe we'd better wait around for them to come back. We waited and waited for a long time, but nobody came. Gee, Teddy, it's starting to get dark out here and cold. Maybe we should take the eggs to Gimmicks for the night. Good idea, Teddy. Well, I'm going to go home. Goodbye. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. <laughs> we said goodbye to Wooly and headed for Gimmicks with the three lost eggs. Hey, Gimmick, look what we found. Uh, uh, giant marbles? No, Gimmick, these are fob eggs. Fob eggs? Is that what they look like? Why, uh, uh yes, Fuzz. <laughs> fob eggs, uh, of course. <laughs> Gimmick, why don't we look in your book to see how we should take care of them? Hmm, let's see. Fob eggs, fob eggs. Here we are. We should put them in a nice, cool place on a hard surface. Well, gee, Gimmick, that doesn't sound right. If these are like most eggs, they should be kept warm so they can hatch. What can we do to help? Well, we'll need to find something large enough, soft enough, and warm enough to do the job. Uh, yeah, but how large? How soft? How warm? Hmm, well, about as large as grubby, and about as soft as grubby, and uh, just as warm as uh, uh, grubby. It's you, grubby. You're perfect for the job. Huh? Fuzz, you're a genius. We found the answer. It's up to you, Grubby. You're just right. Uh-oh. Just right for what? For keeping these eggs warm until they hatch. But how? By sitting on them until we can find the parents. But, Teddy, I'm a researcher, not an egg-sitter. Uh, is egg-sitting research? Why, sure, Grubby. No one knows how long this will take. Oh, all right. That's good, Grubby. Thanks. <laughs> and tomorrow morning, we'll go out and find the fob parents. At first, Grubby felt silly sitting on the fob eggs. But after a few hours, he started getting used to it. Hey, egg sitting isn't so bad after all. Really? Yep. It's quiet, it's restful, and I can sit down on the job. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> you sure can, Grubby. The hours aren't real great, though, and I can't move around too much. Oh, well, Grubby, uh, do you need anything? Are you warm enough? Do you want some strawberries? Yes, please, Gimmick. Mmm. You know, there's one thing I can't figure out about this egg-sitting business. What's that? Well, when these eggs hatch, am I going to be a mother or a father? Yeah. <laughs> well, Grubby, I don't think you'll be either one of those. But maybe you can be an uncle. Hmm. Uncle Grubby. I kind of like the sound of that. Oh, um, I'm sure getting tired. Well, it's very late. You've been doing a wonderful job, Grubby. Uh, uh, but don't forget to sleep. I guess you're right. Oh, hum. <gasps> oh, mm. 
Close your eyes and yawn a bit, snuggle up and snore. Nod a little, rest a little, yawn a little more. Just relax and soon you'll find yourself in slumber deep. And while you're doing all that stuff, don't forget to sleep. Don't forget to sleep. While you're busy resting, don't forget to sleep. Well, if you guys would quit all this singing, maybe I could get some sleep. I may as well get a little rest. No need for you to wait. I'm already lying down, the hour's already late. So while you're at it, why not snooze before the night is down? I'll catch 39 or 40 winks or even 41. I won't forget to sleep. Close your eyes and yawn a bit. Snuggle up and snore. Nod a little, rest a little, yawn a little more. Just relax and soon you'll find yourself in slumber deep. And while you're doing all that stuff, don't forget to sleep. Don't forget to sleep. Don't forget to sleep. While you're busy nesting. Next morning, as we were getting ready to go out and look for the fob parents, we heard a knock at the door. Hi, fellas! I found the parents of those three little poor lost eggs. <laughs> Meet Frank and Faye Fob, everybody! The fobs were so happy to find all three of their eggs safe and sound under Grubby. Oh, they're safe. Oh, my. One, two, three. Well, we didn't know where the eggs went. No, we didn't. I told them about the bounders playing marbles with those eggs. The horrid little bounders. Yes, those bounders do make life difficult sometimes. I'll say. Since Grubby was doing such a nice job sitting on the eggs, Frank and Faye took a little time to help us with our research for Gimmick's book. Yeah, they told us all about the underground streams that lead from Rainbow Falls to all parts of Grundo. Which explains why colorful fobs can be found throughout the land. And at Gimmick's house. <laughs> so that's how that happens. <laughs> I knew there had to be an explanation. Yeah. Thanks to research. Uh, precisely. <laughs> well, thanks for your help, Frank and Faye. And I'm glad everything turned out all right with your eggs. Yep. Now maybe you two can take over egg sitting for a while. This has been kind of... Oh, uh, uh, oh, 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 no. Now what? Oh, look. The eggs are hatching. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> Suddenly, out of the orange, purple, and blue eggs popped three baby fobs. <laughs> oh, boy! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Gee, I wonder what they're saying. I think they're saying thank you. Thank you? Yes, for keeping them warm until they hatched. <laughs> and so Grubby became Uncle Grubby to the three baby fobs. We said goodbye to Frank and Faye Fob and their new babies. They told us to come visit them anytime so Grubby could visit his relatives. Goodbye, Uncle Grubby! Bye-bye! Oh, gee. 
Buzz learned a lot that day, thanks to Frank and Faye Fobb. And Gimmick. And I learned something important from that adventure, too. What's that, Grubby? Patience. Patience? Yep. You see, good things don't always happen right away. So, whether it's Gimmick trying to write a whole book in a hurry, or Grubby waiting for those fob eggs to hatch, sometimes you just gotta take your time. Sometimes you've got to take your time. Everything has a season. Sometimes you've got to take your time. Don't hurry up unless you've got a reason. There's a natural order for everything. Everything. You shouldn't try to resist it. Cause if everything that's good happened all at once, you'd, you'd feel, feel pretty, pretty bad, bad if you missed it. it. Sometimes you've got to take your time. Everything has a season. Sometimes you've got to take your time. Don't hurry up unless you've got a good reason. People may call me lazy. Lazy, he's lazy. But I only try to do what's right. Yes, patience is a virtue. It's a virtue, it's a virtue. And it doesn't come overnight. Occasionally, things up to fate. There's so much hurry and worrying. Sometimes, Sometimes it's great, great just to vegetate. I like vegetating with roasted root stew. Sometimes you've got to take your time. Everything has a season. Sometimes you've got to take your time. Don't hurry up unless you've got a reason. There's a natural order for everything. Everything. You shouldn't try to resist it. Cause if everything that's good happened all at once, you'd feel pretty bad if you missed it. Yeah, it's always annoying when that happens. 